man lost say we have prayed. Most yeah. of for her declare it. So shall it be in Jesus' name. No power will turn it against us. No one that held the declaration of this month we we reject or will be regretted in Jesus' name. It shall work according to waiting for the adoptions to wait the redemption of our body. Amen. He is telling us that the Lord Jesus he has come to do what? To redeem us. He has bought us with a price that no one can pay. We hold the debts that we could not pay. But Jesus Christ stood up to pay out the debts for us. And when he went to the cross, he said, it is finished. He said, come, I have redeemed you with my own blood. A blood that no, no sin. Even when Jesus Christ loved us, he went into the cross and died for me and you. And the Father in heaven said, Whosoever believeth that this is my son will not perish. Father Lord, we are here today because we believe that Jesus Christ is the son of the most high God. He has redeemed us. And to the four goes on to say, for we are saved by hope. Amen. Amen. We have been born saved by hope. Many of us that are still alive today, we did not see Jesus, but we believe it's what the Holy Bible tells us. We are hoping that yes, Jehovah Jireh, he did it for us. And he goes on to say in the big part, the hope that is seen is not hope. Amen. Whatever that you are seeing is not a hope. But what you have not yet seen, that is the hope. You are hoping that this thing will come to pass. That is hope. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is our hope. Amen. Although me and you have not yet seen him, but we are hoping one day we will see him. That is our hope. Because he raised him from the grave. That is our hope. That one day we will see him again. And he goes on to say, For what a man sees, by doubt it hope for. But if we hope for that, we see not. Then do we wait patiently wait for it. Amen. If we are hoping for something and we know and that we know that it will come to pass, we wait patiently for that thing. When a farmer goes into the land and sows their crops, they know that they have sold that the cross will grow. They are hoping that the cross will grow up and bring forth what? A fruit. They wait patiently because their hope is that that cross will grow, that seed will not die patiently until the cross comes up and yet what? Their fruit. That is also with the Christian today. We are waiting patiently till Christ will come. Hope for it that sickness will come to an end, even when the doctor is still telling them that there is no hope again. But as a Christian, they are hoping that yes, healing will come. Hallelujah, somebody. As many that is hearing the voice today, because he did it more than 2,000 years ago, and he's still working for us today. His blood can never be what expired. He is the God that lives forever. He lives forever. That is our hope. Everything that we have passed is a 
alive. We know that our Redeemer, He lives. That is the hope that we have. That any situation that we find ourselves, that is not pleasant, we know that we will come to an end. We know that we will give our hope. This month, the month of April, I pray for everyone that are sick. Everyone that is in the sick bed, everyone that is in the wheelchair, the Lord God Almighty said it is finished. He said, Everyone that believes and it will work for us according to our faith. Have faith. Have faith. Upon what you are hoping for to come, have faith. Upon stop. Believe as the children of the most high God. Every situation that you are passing through today is not a permanent in your life. Yeah. It's not a permanent. And it will come to an end because of what? Our hope is for us to hope and wait patiently for that situation to come down. Amen. Yeah. I am speaking to somebody today. The Lord God of your as the farmer when they are doing their harvest, they rejoice. This month you will rejoice in Jesus' name. Amen. And 26 goes on to say, it. He said, likewise, the spirit also helping our for cannot be obtained. Hallelujah, somebody. When sometimes we don't know what to pray for, and remember that Jesus Christ told the disciple, He said, I am going. He said, If I go, I will send down the comfort. And that Holy Spirit is in every living being. Amen. Amen. Everyone that are alive, the Spirit of the living God is in you. Is that the same Spirit that makes you to stand? If that Spirit of the living God lives in you, you will be empty. You will be lifeless. But the Spirit of the living God is upon us today in Jesus' name. Amen. He said He breathes upon us. We become what? A spirit being. You are not just an ordinary person, but you are a spirit being. The Spirit, the Bible, the Holy Bible tells us, He said, that you are in Christ. Amen. How powerful that you are in Christ. He said, the Holy Spirit will teach us and what to say when we are praying. He said, remember that the same Spirit is also sitting for us we did not know. We are standing to, in the gap to pray for those men and women that are saying their own is finished. We are here to give them the word of God, which is hope. That there is hope. That there tomorrow is a moment for you to talk to him. He knows what you need. Thou, the Son Spirit, is still alive today. He saturates every heart. And he knows whatever that you are doing in your heart, even secretly, that no one knows it. But knowing it, that the Spirit of the living God, he knows the hearts. And the big part goes on to say, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Amen. Because he prayed the spirit of the living God, even when we are praying wrongly, but the spirit of the living God comes to tell us, Father, this is what they want. Because I saturate the heart, I know as the heart. Even when the man did not speak it, but I know what? The hands. Amen. I know as the hands. There is a story of a woman in the Bible. When the man of God visits the house, he always cook for the man of God. And when the man of God wants to go, he said, What's this woman lack that he did not have? So that the God Almighty will bring it for this good thing that he has been doing. For the man of God. The woman, they asked the woman. The woman said, Lord, I need nothing. 
from you. Just a servant, a little girl, a servant, tells the man of God, there is no baby in this house. Amen. The spirit has sealed the heart of that woman. Even when the woman did not speak, but another person speak for the woman. Amen. Amen. Somebody will speak good things on your behalf in Jesus' Amen. name. That little girl become one, the intercessor of that woman. And when he said it, and instantly that year, that woman conceived and has what? A son. Amen. Amen. I pray for somebody that are watching me, that is hearing the sound of my voice. I don't know what your heart desire. Even you are even fail to even utter it unto God. You thought that it cannot be happen again. And that is the heart of that woman. He thought that there is no hope again. That is the reason why they were asking her, what did you want? The woman said, I need nothing. And that little girl spoke, ah, there is no cry of baby in this house. Ah. Even the woman did not measure it. I know that that is what in the heart of that woman. I know I know. He said, the one that searched the earth no earth in. I pray for you that is over there. Whatever that is in your heart, uh, according to the will of God, this month it will be manifest in Jesus' name. He will come to pass in the authority name of Jesus. Even when you thought that there is no hope over that thing, that is making you not to say it out unto God. You thought that is his end. I said, this month you will celebrate in Jesus' name. Name. You will celebrate in Jesus' name. Amen. And 28 goes on to say it. He said, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Amen. Any situation that you are passing through, my dear, knowing it, as far as you name of Christ, everything is working together for good for you. Someone might say, oh, woman of God, I am in the hospital bed. You say that all things, this one, it worked together for our good. Who knows it that when you are out, accident will take your life. Amen. Our God is not handmade God. He's the one that specializes every heart. He knows what is inside. Disappointment comes sometimes. The moment give time unto God. You that are mama because you were disappointed. What about those ones that lie in their grief? Can those ones be disappointed? No. No. Say, Father, thank you. Give thanks unto God in any situation. Because everything is working together for your own good. It is only when you love what? When you love God. That situation that you see like a mountain, it will never swallow you. Amen. It will never swallow you. Because you are relying on God, because you are laying on Christ, that situation will not swallow you. And be part goes on to say, to them who are the core, according to his purpose. Amen. According to his work, his purpose. It might be that work that you are working in the house of God. It is not pleasant unto you. But it is the purpose of God for you to do work, for you to do it. Amen. Please and please, let's focus whenever that we are doing this in the house of the most high God. Amen. The Lord come according to what? To his own purpose. Let do it according to the purpose of God, not to our own what? Purpose. And 29 goes on to say, for whom he did for knowing, he also did predicted of being conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Tell him, moreover, whom he did predicted, then he also called, called, called and all whom he called, then he also justified. And who he justified, then he also glorified. 
when the Lord Almighty justify us, who again can be against you? Nobody can be against you. When the light glorify you, who again will be against you? No man. He said, for what shall we then say to those things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Who can be against you? When the Lord says it is finished, who is that man that says that that sickness will still remain here? If the Lord says you are healed, who is that woman? Who is that man that says that sickness will remain? When the Lord says, I have made you a woman, I have said, go here into the world and do what? And multiply. Who is that woman that says, who is that man that says that you will remember him? No one. When the Lord is for us, who can be against us? I pray for as many that are sick. I pray for all firstborn in the land. May they not be for you. 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 As many that are looking for document, may they not be for you. May they not be for you. No land, no question, nothing that we say that we not give you document. May they not be for you. You that are looking for a job, may they not be for you. You that are looking for good things, may they not be for you. You that are looking for a husband, may they not be for you. You that are looking for a wife, may they not be for you. You that are looking for healing, may they not be for you. You that are looking for breakthrough, may they not be for you. You that are looking for babies, may they not be for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, may they not be for you. When they not be for you, no one we be against you. And 32 goes on to say, He that spreads not his own, but deliver him up for us. All who shall be not with him also freely give us all things. Amen. He said, In our God, He did not spell His own Son Jesus, He gave it willingly unto us. He said, how much more, whatever that we will ask, that he will not give unto us. Amen. Amen. For those that are just coming, our Bible reading is taken from the book of Romans 8. I am reading now 32 read of this. Amen. The Lord God Almighty did not withhold Jesus not to come to die for us, to save us, to, to, to redeem us. How much more? What is that that we are going to ask him that he will not give unto us? That he will withhold that thing, nothing that he will not give unto us. And Dr. Turi goes on to say, Who shall name any things to the charge of God, selecting it to God that justify? Who is that condemn, condemning? It is Christ that died. Yes, rather that is raising again. Amen. Christ died and is raising what? Is raising again. That is our hope. That yes, every situation that we are passing through, he have an expiring date. Because our Redeemer, he lives. And the big part goes on to say, Who is him? As that right hands of God, who also maketh it as also for us. Jesus Christ is sitting down at the right hand of our Father in heaven, interceding for me and you. Amen. Amen. When you have an avocado that is defending you, there is no case you cannot win. Knowing it that our Lord Jesus Christ. He defending us. He's praying for us. Sitting down at the right hand of our Father in heaven. Telling the Father, no, this person, this sickness cannot take him or her to any grave. He's standing here defending us. Even when the Lord, the Father in heaven will say, can't you see the sin that he has committed? He said, Father, that is the purpose why I go into the earth to do what? To die for them to be saved. He's 
our vocato. He's standing for all the interceding for me and you. When you lay on Christ, there is no challenge that you cannot pass through. And 34 goes on to say, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine of nakedness or burials or sword? Name them. What is that that can separate us from the love of God? Is it people that are persecuting you? He said, those things cannot separate the love of God from you. When we lay on God, when we lay on Christ, nothing can separate us from the love of God. He loved us so much, knowing it, your sin cannot even separate the love that you had for him. Your sin cannot cover it. He has love for even when we are yet what? A sinner. He loves us. Knowing means that the Lord God, He loves you. Don't condemn yourself. Don't allow anyone to condemn you. That because of the sin that you committed, the Lord is no longer with you. No, the Lord is with you. The sin that you committed, that is the purpose why Christ came to die for you. And 36 goes on to say, as it is written, for this sake we are killed all the day. No, we we are accordant as a sheep for dear slaughter. Thirty seven. Men in all those things we are more than conquerors through him that loveth us. Amen. We are more than what conquerors through him that do what that loveth us, which is Christ. When you lay on Christ, there is no mountain that you cannot jump with God. Amen. And 38 goes on to say, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor any angel or principality, no power or nothing present, nothing to come, not high, no deep, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is the Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Nothing will separate us from the love of God. We are rising on our feet. We are going to pray today. Today also is our declaration of the new months and what this month carries. As according to the declaration of our Bishop Margaret August Abonifo in Nigeria and in Africa's lands today, in Europe lands, we are also declaring this today. And we also know that today is our prayer for all firstborn in the land. First, we are going to thank God for the life of all firstborn in the land. Heavenly Father, we just want to say thank you, Lord. We thank you for the life of all firstborn, O oh Lord, in God's glory. Amen. We are thanking you, Lord, O oh God. Amen. We commit all firstborn into your hands, O oh Lord. But this month of April, Lord, O oh God, Papa, we come out to stand in the gap, O oh Lord, O oh God, that no firstborn in the land will be destroyed. Amen. But no firstborn in the land, O oh Lord, O oh God, will run man. But not grave, O oh Lord, will swallow firstborn. Amen. But firstborn, O oh Lord, O oh God, Papa, they will be alive to excel in the authority name of Jesus. Amen. But suddenly death will not come upon every firstborn in the authority name of Jesus. But every firstborn that is in the bondage, Papa, we are standing in the gap today by the name of the Lord Jesus. But let that firstborn, O oh Lord, be released from Amen. that bondage in Jesus' name. But every firstborn that is in the hospital, Papa, we pray for them, O oh Lord. But let the power of healing come upon every firstborn. Father, Lord, King of glory, parents will not mock over their firstborn. But parents will not mock over their firstborn. But we will not mock over our firstborn. In the authority name of Jesus. Our firstborn will not bring the grace unto us. Our firstborn will accept, O Lord of God. Our firstborn, they have been the head, the head they will be, O Lord of God. In the authority name of Jesus. Our firstborn will not say, In the authority name of Jesus. But no weapon so long from the pit of hell. First against our firstborn shall prosper. In the authority name of Jesus. But we pray for firstborn in this 
slap the Lord of all. Baba, no firstborn will die Amen. in the authority name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we pray for the foreigners. Baba, we also pray, O oh Lord, O oh God, for the citizens, O oh Lord, O oh God, Amen. of this land, O oh Lord. Amen. Baba, their firstborn will not die. Amen. Our firstborn will not die. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. our firstborn will accept, O oh Lord, O oh God. Amen. Father, we pray for every living churches, O oh Lord, O oh God. Amen. Father, Lord, King of glory, they are strong, or our struggle is ended, O oh Lord. Amen. In the authority name of Jesus. Amen. Father, remember the same Jesus Christ is the head of the church, O oh Lord. As your mom tells us today, O oh Lord, in the book of Romans, O oh Lord, he said, if you be for us, who can be like this, O oh. But if you be the head of the church, O oh Lord, O oh God, who can be like this, the church that you are head, in, Lord, O oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, King of glory. Father, this are your word, O oh Lord. Father, we know that we know, O oh Lord, that you are the head of all living churches, O oh Lord. Father, who can be against the church that you are heading, in Lord of God. Father, we send no one. Father, no think of glory. Jehovah Jared, I am that I am. Father, we say time to you, Lord of God. Time to you, Lord of God. Amen. You are a most high God. Amen. There is no other God beside you. Amen. You alone is God. Amen. You alone is God. Lastly, we are going to also read Psalm 113. Just hold it the verse 7 of it. Amen. He said, Let Israel hope in the Lord. Tell somebody, please hope in the Lord. Hope in the Lord. Don't put your trust in the job that you are doing. Don't put your trust in the work, in the car, and the work that you are going. Trust in the Lord and hope in the Lord. That he is the only one that can make you, can make you to jump that mountain in Jesus' name. Your influence that is following you cannot make it. It's only God. Hope in the Lord. And he will do it for you in Jesus' name. He said, for which the Lord there is mercy. Amen. There is mercy in what? In the Lord. Let pray and say, Father, show us your mercy. Because your word, Baba God, has told us that there is mercy in you, Lord. Baba, show us mercy, Lord. Any area, Lord, that we are not doing this well. Father, show forth your mercy. Show forth your mercy, Lord. Baba, you have the mercy that the world needed. Baba, show forth your mercy. Baba, in this, oh Lord, oh God. You pray when there is war, Father. Show forth your mercy, Lord. Show forth your mercy. Just because of the little children, Lord of God, that no nothing, Baba. Show forth your mercy over that land, oh Lord. Baba, show forth your mercy. Show forth your mercy in the land of Italy. But show forth your mercy, Lord, all over the world. Father, show forth your mercy. Every marriage that has shed the law, Father, show forth your mercy. Amen. Every little children that is in the hospital, Father, show forth your mercy. Amen. Every man and woman that are sick, Baba, show forth your mercy. Amen. But everyone, Lord, that are looking up to you, Baba, show forth your mercy. Amen. Because your mercy, you have mercy on whom you want to have mercy. Father, Lord, come to us among those, oh Lord, that you are show forth your mercy, Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, show this ministry mercy. Amen. In the authority name of Jesus. Amen. And the big part goes on to say, say and with him is Praying redemption. Hallelujah. It says, and, and he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquity. Let pray and say, Father, redeem us from all our iniquity. Father, Lord, we pray, O oh Lord, redeem us, O oh Lord, from all our iniquity. According to this, your word, O oh Lord, let it not be the joke in our life. Let it not be the stand in our life, so Lord, O oh God. Redeem us, O oh Lord, from all our iniquities, O oh Lord. But redeem you grief for all their iniquities, O oh Lord. But redeem African love for all their iniquities, O oh Lord. But but redeem, O oh Lord, O oh God, God, not so Lord, O oh God. Don't so Lord think of glory that is in authority. But but redeem them all, but what God from all their iniquities, O oh Lord. But redeem every living church, O oh Lord, from all their iniquities, O oh Lord. But redeem every preacher's of the most I go for all their iniquity. All ministers of God, but redeem them from their iniquity. But redeem us from our iniquities, 
so now. But we take every living church from our, from their iniquity. Yeah. In the authority name of Jesus. Yeah. But we take our children from their iniquity so now. Yeah. But we take the land of Italy from their iniquity. Yeah. In the authority name of Jesus. Yeah. But we take the leaders of this ministry from all their iniquity so now. Yeah. But we take the man from their iniquity. Yeah. But we take the women from their iniquity. Yeah. But we take the youth from their iniquity. Yeah. But we take the children from their iniquity. Yeah. But we take us from our iniquity. Yeah. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Yeah. Father, redeem us from our iniquity yeah. so long. Yeah. Redeem us so long from our iniquity. Yeah. Papa, redeem us so long from our iniquity. Yeah. For Christ's sake, Papa, redeem us so long. Yeah. For all our iniquity so long, oh God. Yeah. For all our iniquity so long. Yeah. For those children that are sick over there. Yeah. For those men that are sick over there. Yeah. For those, oh Lord, who are blind. For those who are crippled, Lord. For those who are born with one disease and sick men. Baba, redeem them, oh Lord, oh God, from their iniquity. And heal them, oh Lord, oh God. Yeah. But let there be joy, oh Lord, oh God. Yeah. Everywhere where there is no baby, Lord, oh God. Baba, redeem them from their iniquity. Yeah. But redeem that womb from that iniquity. Yeah. But when that baby comes, oh Lord, oh God. Yeah. In the authority name of Jesus. Yeah. Father, Lord, we just say thank you. Glory be to your holy name. Amen. In Jesus' name, Lord, we have prayed. Let's jam our two hands together for Jesus. Our Lord is good. All the time. Amen. Please and please help me to publish our Easter is coming. Please join us here. Let's come and thank our living God what he has done for us on the 17th of this month. Please come and join us as you do God Almighty will bless you in Jesus name. Also this same month we have our keep your home for those who have married, for those who are about to enter into marriage. Just come this program, be my girls, come ask questions and we also will be asking you what question anything, please come and do what? Come and teach us. And we will also teach you about what? Marriage. We are talking about marriage and talking about relationship. And we are going to see how a relationship will lead to the marriage. And a relationship that will not lead to marriage. Just come on and you will know on that very day. The things that, that will make you to know that this relationship that you are, it will lead to marriage or not. So come on that day. If you want to ask questions, just also come and ask us questions and say, ah, how will I know that this relationship that I am will lead me to marriage or not? Just come on that day. There are men and women of God being collected by God and with the word of God that will tell us that how this relationship that we are will lead us into marriage or not. If your marriage is shaking, how are you going to build again your marriage and it will make it to stand again? Just come on that day with one word of God. It will make your marriage to stand again in Jesus' name. We have prayed. Please and please join us on that very day. It's 20, 24 and 25 of this month. Please join us. Keep these days in your words, in your Canada. Don't miss it as you do. God Almighty will bless you in Jesus' name. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, that we be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the days our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thou art the kingdom, for the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Before we share the grace, let's use one minute to pray for our Bishop Margaret Ogusabonifu. Just open your mouth and pray. As you pray for her, you are praying for yourself. Your prayer, and as he had declared this month and the month of redemption, and this month will not work contrary to his family. He will not work contrary to his life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. That he will not also work contrary to you. He will not work contrary to your family. And this month have been declared the month of redemption. So shall it be. No power will turn it 
Oh Lord, oh God, oh what I get so oh Lord, think of glory. Father Lord, we just say thank you for the life of our Bishop Margaret always are a going so as he has declared this month, so Lord, oh God. But this month we know what contrary to against us, so Lord, think of glory. We commit all our children, so Lord, oh God, into your hands, so Lord. Father Jehovah Jehovah. We know it, O oh Lord, O oh God, about you, our God, O oh Lord, our Redeemer. We know that you live us, O oh Lord, O oh God. But may you wash over her and as so many wash over the headquarters, O oh Lord, King of Glory. Also wash over every branches, O oh Lord, King of Glory, all over the world. We are 